Okay, Mrs. Hayes here today, and I'm gonna show you how to draw a fire-breathing dragon head. And we're just gonna focus on the head for today because this is actually gonna be quite a few steps and it could be kind of complicated, so we can do bodies later. I am gonna use pencil instead of my typical marker today, just because, like I said, there's more steps. So you can, again, use whatever you have to draw with. All right, so we're gonna start with the head and we're gonna have to have enough room for the neck. So, and we're gonna make sure that the mouth is open so that it can be breathing fire. So we're gonna make some sort of either C shape, backward C shape, it could even be more of a V shape if you want the mouth to be more pointed. The cool thing about dragons is they are mythical, which means you can make it really look any way you want. So feel free to change yours a little bit if you like it a different way. This is gonna be the open mouth. Then we're going to do the top of the mouth and I'm gonna make a spot here for the nose. And then Austro could be an oval, could be a teardrop shape. Again, you can kind of tailor this uh, dragon to be any way you want. Top of the head where the eye is gonna be, it's gonna angle up. And then we are, if you wanted to add like horns, you could make a curved spot here. Make a line straight there. And then we're gonna connect the bottom of this curve to the top of that line there. If I wanted to make a second horn, I'm gonna make a diagonal line, curve. If it goes off the page, that's okay. So two horns. Then I'm gonna start angling down to make the neck. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna do the bottom jaw. I like to kind of work towards, like symmetrically. So I've started on the top here, so now I'm gonna continue the bottom. And I'm gonna again make this kind of angle. I'm gonna have it kind of come across. And then this is where maybe you want to angle up and make like a jawbone. So that was kind of a, a U shape. Then to make the neck, I'm gonna make a curving line and I'm gonna have it kind of go down into the body, but it's gonna go off the page. And then up here, maybe you wanna do spikes on the neck, kind of like the horns. So if I was gonna do that, I would start with the spike shapes first. Kind of like long, skinny, curved letter A's. And I might make it look almost kind of lizard webbed like What I mean by that is then in between these, maybe I do connected lines. And then I'm gonna connect the back of the neck and head here and have this go down. If you wanted to add more spikes, you could do that. If you want the neck thicker, you could do that. That is up to you. For the eye, I'm gonna make this dragon look a little bit fierce. So I'm gonna draw a line there. And then I'm gonna draw like an upside down rainbow. And then I'm gonna make kind of like a lizard eye. So I'm gonna do almost like a crescent moon cut off in the middle there. Before I do the fire, I'm gonna go ahead and make the teeth. You could make a few teeth if you want. You could make a lot of teeth. You could make them different sizes. You could make just zigzag lines. Again, that's up to you. You could also make a tongue coming out if you'd rather have it be more like a tongue. And I decided that looking at this neck, it's a little thin, so I'm gonna go ahead and double line that. This could be like some designs, scales. And then inside the mouth here is where we're gonna go ahead and make our fire. So to make the fire, I would start with curvy line, make it come to a point. So think of this as kind of like curved zigzag lines. And if it doesn't look perfect, it's okay, it's fire. Fire tends to curve and change and move. You could always add little flames coming out. Maybe it goes off the page. You could even add little smoke puffs coming out of the nose. Once you're happy with the way this looks, you can go ahead and start adding color. You could add more detail with your pencil if you wanted to add scales. Scales could be curvy like that. Scales could also be pointy. So again, feel free to personalize your dragon the way you want it to look. 